Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, do you know that some people have missed their life purpose because they don't know God's will for their lives and because they kept bad company? And some people are in great positions of positive influence and blessing today because of the people they moved with. God wants you to know that associates can make or mar people's lives. They can promote or affect our thoughts. Yes, they can draw people away from God. For us to enjoy God's provisions and promises our thoughts must be informed by what we know about God through meditating in the wisdom found in scriptures. The word of God says in Psalm 1 verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. God's words tell us that the way to being blessed is to be careful of the company we relate with. Secondly, our disposition and attitude to God's word is very important to our being blessed. Dear friends, I invite you to declare your faith through these confessions inspired by these verses. Please believe these confessions, meditate on the truth and get the benefits embedded in them, these benefits are for you and I. I am blessed, for I choose not to walk in the path of the wicked, nor stand with those who follow the ways of sin. I am separate from the counsel of the ungodly, and I choose to stand in the assembly of the righteous. My delight, my meditation, and my allegiance are to the Lord, and in Him, I find my strength and my guidance. In every season, I am blessed, for my life is anchored in the unfailing Word of God. Let my confession be a proclamation of my commitment to walk in the ways of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Beloved, Psalm 1 verses 1 and 2 offers profound insights into our human existence. It teaches us that true happiness and fulfillment come when we deliberately choose a path of righteousness and stay rooted in God's Word. In our daily lives, let us strive to avoid ungodly influences. Just as the psalmist warns against walking in step with the wicked, let us pray for discernment to distance ourselves from influences that lead us away from God. Let us pray. Lord, help us to be intentional about the company we keep. Grant us discernment to avoid standing in the way of sinners or sitting in the company of mockers. May our associations uplift and encourage our walk with you. Heavenly Father, guide us in choosing companions who inspire us to walk in your ways. Shield us from the influences that could lead us astray, and surround us with those who point us towards you. Lord, ignite within us a deep hunger and thirst for your word. May we find genuine joy and satisfaction in studying and meditating on your law, day and night. Father, create in us a hunger for your word that surpasses any other desire. May we eagerly seek your guidance finding fulfillment and purpose in the treasure of your scriptures. Lord, instill in us a desire to obey your commandments willingly. As we delight in your law, may our hearts be inclined to live in accordance with your precepts. Heavenly Father, cultivate in us a spirit of obedience. May our delight in your word be reflected in our actions and choices, aligning our lives with your perfect will. Heavenly Father, grant us wisdom to discern the paths we walk, that we may not be swayed by ungodly influences. Keep our hearts focused on you. Help us to find joy and delight in meditating on God's word day and night. It is in the contemplation of his truth that our spirits are nourished. Lord, may your word be our delight. Help us to meditate on it regularly that we may be grounded and strengthened in our faith. May these prayers guide us in living out the wisdom of Psalm 1, 1-2 in our daily existence. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Dear friends, in my walk of faith, the best that has ever thrilled me is the story of personal commitment to God. I therefore invite you to enter into a beautiful relationship with God, if you've not taken that step of faith.
May His grace bring you the joy that cannot be taken away from you. Amen. If you have been blessed by this prayer, kindly type, Amen, in the comment box. You can drop your comments, questions or prayer requests so that others can pray with you. And please remember to share your testimonies of how this channel is a blessing to you. Please subscribe, if you've not, so that you can be notified each time a new prayer video is uploaded. Thank you for joining me today. I am Dr. Yutunde Accord, the coach on Family Harmony. Do remain blessed.